The pigeonhole principle states that if n items are put into m containers, with m being greater than m, then at least one container must have more than one item. So, if we have four pigeons, and only three holes, then at least one hole will contain two pigeons. Let's look at an example that will give us a better idea of how the pigeonhole principle works. Say we have a box full of socks of three different colors. We are in a dark room and we want to know the minimum amount of socks that we need to take out in order to get a pair. Based on the pigeonhole principle, we would need to take out at least four socks to guarantee a pair, where n is equal to the number of socks we take out and m is equal to the colors that are inside the box. This principle can be applied to many other problems, which we will now discuss. After we know about the pigeonhole principle, we can try to solve this problem. Assume that there are two n positive integers. Pick n plus 1 integers from it. Prove that at least one pair is relatively prime. Two integers are relatively prime if they have no common positive factors besides one. The number themselves may not have to be the prime, but the only factors in common will be the one. For example, the integer 12 and 25. The factors of 12 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The factors of 25 is 1, 5, and 25. The only factors in common is 1. So the integer 12 and 25 are relatively prime. First, we can write 2n integers from 1 to 2n. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 2n minus 1, and 2n. Then consider there are n pairs of integers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2n minus 1, and 2n. So we can pick 1 here, pick 4, pick 5, pick 8, and then we pick 2n minus 1 and 2n. As we can see, 2n minus 1 and 2n, they are apparently relatively prime. If we pick n plus 1 integers from n pairs, we must pick both integers from one of these pairs. This step we use the pigeonhole principle. So n plus one integer that we pick are pigeons. n pairs of integer are holes. All right, now let's use this principle to solve an interesting problem, which is in any group of n people, there are two who have an identical number of friends within the group. How do we know that? Well, the maximum number of friends one person in the group can have is n minus 1, and the minimum is 0. If all of the members have at least one friend, then each individual can have 1, 2, and minus 1 friend. As there are n individuals, so by pigeonhole there must be at least 2 with the same number of friends. Okay, let's show this problem with a short example. We're going to use n as our number of people, and for this case, we're going to suppose that n is equal to 3. So the group will have 3 people in it. So we draw one person, the second one, and the third one. The connections between each person represent the friendship. So in this case, everybody is friends with everybody else in the group. Meaning that the maximum number of friends that one person can have is two. To get the minimum, we simply get rid of those connections 
and the minimum would be zero. Hence, both of these cases comply with the pigeonhole principle. In another case, two people are friends with each other, while one of them isn't friends with neither one of them. This also complies with PHP, because there's at least two people with the same number of friends, which is one. Now, if we make another connection, there's one person with two friends, and the other two have exactly one friend. Once again, complying with the pigeonhole principle. If we complete the connection, everybody will have exactly two friends, and this still complies with the pigeonhole principle because at least two people have the same number of friends. This example should work with any, any number that we choose n to be. When a person has zero friends in the group, this decreases the number of maximum friends that a person can have, and they can be represented as n minus k minus 1, where k is equal to the number of people that have zero friends. Thanks for watching guys, and we hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for future videos.